Okay, Hades Mega here, and uh, so today uh, Hades Mega is gonna try to make a try to attempt to start making the heatsink for the uh, BSC 2000 controller. Like I said, this controller runs really hot all the time, and during like really high performance riding, it uh, like when you're getting on the throttle really hard, it is uh, it runs super hot and it it overheats so. If you want to maintain that kind of performance, I think we have to add some kind of cooling to the BAC 2000 controller. So, ever since I've gotten it, it's always run really warm, at least compared to the X controller. So, and then now that we're pushing more power through it with the with the light speed battery, um, it's it's just getting worse, you know. Um, especially like going up hill climbs and stuff. Go 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 go. Push it, push it, push it, push it. It's, uh, the controller is overheated. Ah! Uh, so, so yesterday we measured the, uh, we, we put the bike on the trailer, and then we compressed the front suspension all the way, and then we found out, hey, we got plenty of space. The wheel will not touch the, um, the heatsink. Uh, there's a lot of space between the controller and the wheel, even with the knobbies on. So, um, and that was what I was worried about. Like, so when you come down really hard, boom, it might hit the heatsink, so... But there's no chance of that happening um, if we, you know, if we don't put like a, a monster heatsink on it. Uh, but however, the fender will hit it though. So to, I would like to keep this fender. One thing we could, I, another thing we could do that I th thought about to, to, um, to help the cooling down a bit is, uh, is put some holes on the back of the fender. So certain some, uh, some bikes have like some kind of louvers or you know some kind of scoops at the back of the fender to cool down the uh, the radiator um, a, a radiator or oil cooler or something um, take a look at take a look at this here so so that's one thing we could do is we can add holes to the back of the fender okay so you can see this is an Acerbis um, Supermoto fender on my KLR650 and it has holes back here to let air go through. Um, I guess it's so also it doesn't like lift the fender up if you're going really fast. Um, it doesn't, it, it, let, it lets, it relieves, it's there to relieve the pressure. So that's kind of a good thing to have but also I think it would, it would direct air into the, the radiator right here, okay? So, so we can put something like that. We can just drill a bunch of holes. Is what we can do, okay? We can drill a bunch of holes in the fender, maybe like six of them or something. So that would let some air through the fender to get to the controller. Um, but the the limiting uh, the limiting factor actually is the fender. So <laughs> so we found out yesterday that that like the fender comes close to uh, to where the controller um, to where the controller would be. So if we were to add a heatsink to it, it would hit it. But uh, what we could do is we can chop the chop the heatsink out. So here's the uh, here's the heatsink that I'm thinking of using. I've had this bad boy for a long time. Uh, I I don't know. I think I must have bought this at a computer surplus warehouse like a long time ago. They must have been really cheap, like a dollar or two or something for this big old heatsink here. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. Um, I think something like this probably would cost you around twenty thirty bucks. So. Um, I just have it lying around, and I, you know, I'm not doing anything with it, and I don't plan to really do anything with it. So, um, also, I have some smaller heat sinks here. So I have these ones. So we can try using this too. We can actually. Oh, I've actually got a bigger one right here. Oh, I got a black one right here. 
this one would actually fit pretty spot on right there. Yeah, not bad. And it has some overhang, so we could probably use this one too. Um, if I wanted a black one. Um, but my idea is to use this really big one here. It's kind of heavy. It's going to add some weight to the bike, but it's what we need cooling. So is to uh, to use this, and it looks like it's too long. We're going to have to cut it. We'll probably cut it like around here or something, because we don't want it sticking out too far. And then we actually we could actually brace it. We could actually brace it on this too. So that's something we could do also. Um, I could. I could probably add a tab to this so it goes straight back. And then we can bolt it to this bracket right here too. And then maybe like extend it up to here or something. Okay, and then what my idea was to put a heat sink on the back also. Since there's all this space underneath here, I was gonna uh, attach this heat sink to this one right here, just like that. Doesn't look like it's it's gonna fit too well. I have to angle the I have to angle the the controller out a tad so it will fit. It would be something like that, and then I would have a second heat sink on the back here. Okay. Okay. So the problem with this guy is that uh, I we have to find a way to mount it, and I, the the way I'd want to mount it is probably just bolt it on top of the the other heat sink. So. And the problem is this is the exact same size as the uh, as the BAC 2000 heatsink, okay? Except the BAC 2000 has these kind of wings that extend out from the heatsink here. So we can actually use that. We can drill a hole in here and then bolt it down. So I'm thinking of drilling like four holes and putting four bolt and putting four bolts there. And then I guess we can support it down here also. So so this will actually support the controller too if we do make something like that okay so I was just gonna go out and buy a heatsink but I already got this so you might as well use it alternatively we could use that longer that kind of long black one also but it's uh, it's a little shorter so this one might actually fit better But, uh, so what we're gonna have also what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get some kind of thermal paste. So this has some thermal paste already on it. It's kind of old though. Um, we need to slather that all over the uh, the heatsink. It's kind of like you know, it's if you guys are familiar with installing a CPU in a CPU cooler, you would put this paste on top of the uh, where the heatsink touches the CPU, and then you would um, and then you would like clamp or bolt the uh, um, the heatsink onto the uh, um, CPU, and it would. Uh, that's what the co the um, the paste is. What helps transfer the heat to the the heatsink. So, so we gotta have something. I gotta have. I gotta buy some some thermal compound. Is what it's called. Okay, or thermal paste. So, I'm gonna have to get a lot. I thought about spraying some uh, some copper gasket cleaner, uh, uh, copper gasket um, spray on it. That might work, and it's copper too, so um, I might go and do that. I'm not sure. It, it sounds like it's really messy, so so I still have to get that. Um, but I'm thinking, let's go use this, and it's already the same color as the heatsink on the BAC controller, so this will be the prototype, I guess. <laughs> we could actually make it a little higher too. Um, yeah, we don't have to use the whole thing. We can we can have it touch the plastic part up here, and then. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to grind the uh, the controller a little bit here too because um, the the bracket down here it kind of is higher than the heatsink so we're gonna have to grind the bracket down and then maybe some of the blue plastic that's on the uh, the controller so that's a kind of a bummer but if if that's what I gotta do to keep this thing from overheating then then that's what I gotta do okay. Um, yeah, so that's all I can say. All right, so uh, so the first thing is um, first thing we got to do. It, I'm thinking is so this this uh, this heatsink is the exact same size as the heatsink on the uh, 
BAC2000 controller. Uh, but we need to extend the, uh, the little arms here on the side. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to drill a hole here on the side, the, on these little tiny little wings here. And then we're going to uh, we're going to bolt this on top of this, okay, with the four bolts. So, so I have to make this bigger. I have to add I have to add wings to this, basically. Um, how am I going to do that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, welcome to my workbench. Uh, so, to to add wings to this thing, uh, we're going to use what's called a luma weld, okay. Luma weld rods. So this allows you to do brazing basically. Um, you can braze uh, aluminum with this. Um, so Hades Omega uses this stuff to fix like holes in uh, like aluminum mufflers or to like kind of put two pieces of aluminum together. I've seen them do magical things with this. However, however Merlin cannot do magic with the Luma weld. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you I'm really bad at using this stuff, okay? Um, actually, ah man, you know what? My propane torch has gone bad. I know. So for the wing material, we're gonna use this right here. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm kind of I'm not sure if I want to just uh, weld the whole thing onto the side, so that that touches the uh, the heat sink, or uh, or should I just um, should I just uh, um, just weld some tabs, weld four tabs onto it. Where the um, where the heat sink would mount. So, so that that's what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be me adding the tabs onto the wings on this. Okay, because it's like I said, this is the exact size of the inner heat sink, but it's like there's no wings on the side for me to bolt it onto the old uh, the the um, not the old uh, the BAC two thousand heat sink. So, so I need to add this to the side like that, so we can bolt it on. Hopefully, hopefully level with it. Flat. <laughs> okay. So that's what I got going on today. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> uh, and then that'll allow us to drill a hole in the wing. And then we'll drill a hole in the, um, the BAC 2000. Uh, we, we also, we don't kind of really need to drill a hole. Um, we can we can also just make a slot for it to just go in also, but I, I prefer to be the hole But the hole is like super tiny. We're gonna have to use a really small bolt or something to hold it together um, If we have four of them though, I think uh, I think it should hold it fine. And also like I said, we'll be using the uh, um, The bracket that's on the bike already this I'm gonna try to make a bracket that goes from the heat sink to, uh, to this guy right here. So it's going to mount on this. Um, sort of, kind of. I hope. <laughs> so, so if anything, that will make another point of contact for, uh, for this guy. So it'll add more support for the controller. Okay, it's pretty solid right now. But... Alright. So... So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we should just weld the tabs on there. Let's just weld four tabs as opposed to like having the whole thing on there, you know? Um, it sounds easier to just weld the whole thing, but I feel like that's just a waste of material, you know? Let's just cut four tabs into like a square. Cut this into squares, and then we'll weld it onto the, the heat sink. Okay, all right, here's my out.